Welcome back everybody. We're down here in Pueblo at the Colorado State Fair. Check it out. Street corn is the name of the game tonight. All kinds of a corn in a cup, a lote on a stick. Let's check it out. We have three different types. We have uh, traditional elote with just butter and garlic and cotija cheese. And we have the flaming hot elote. And we also have the Mexican flag corn in a cup. Griddle more, baby. Flaming hot Cheetos. Dynamite. Loving it so far. I'm going in with the Mexican flag in a cup here. So this is Takis with Flaming Hot Cheetos, Cotija cheese, mayo, corn. Oh baby, let's give it a try. I don't ever get to enjoy bacon fried corn because I'm always cooking it for America. All right, I'm loving the Cheetos and the Mexican flag in a cup was killer. I'm gonna go with the standard one here. Uh, cotilla cheese, mayo, corn. I love it. I love it. Okay, so this is where my corn dreams have come true at the Colorado State Fair. So we got to get home. I have to wipe my mouth off and let's try to kick some of this up on the Blackstone griddle. Back home from the fair and as you can see, I've got the corn out. So at the fair, they had their ears of corn in the husk. They left them like this and they had them just sitting on one of those massive charcoal grills and they would just sit there and turn these all day long. And truth be told, they were actually all pretty burned, you know, blackened and stuff. They'd been sitting on there for hours and then they would go ahead and decorate the corn. So we're gonna try it on the griddle just like this. We're gonna put some avocado oil down on them and we'll turn that griddle up to about medium high, maybe medium low, somewhere in the middle. So my initial idea with this is I'm gonna treat these just like I do my sausages or my hot dogs. We're just gonna roll these from time to time and we'll put a little more oil on there as needed. As you saw at the fair, Flaming Hot Cheetos were front and center. I think they actually had a brand partnership with them. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just like we do on the Blackstone Griddle More Tour, where I use Flaming Hot or Cheddar Jalapeno, we are gonna crush these up. But I did notice that they pulverized theirs. On the tour, I tend to keep mine into tiny little chunks, but they literally made theirs into a powder. So let's get our flaming hot Cheetos ready for later. Every few minutes, I'm just giving those a twist. And new to me, they were using the blue heat. They looked green in the cup, but they were using these blue heat ones. So we're gonna check it out and we're gonna see what happens. In with the Takis blue heat. Now we're gonna do our loose corn, so down with some oil. And 
And I will tell you, at the state fair, they didn't cook their loose corn on a griddle, obviously. They had just corn sitting in a giant hotel pan in butter and water just sitting on top of a burner. My loose kernel corn is done perfectly, so I'm gonna use this, which you might not have seen yet. You're gonna see some of these coming in the future, and this is a future model of a Blackstone griddle scoop. I've got my uh, molcajete here. We're gonna go ahead, left-handed. I know I'm not left-handed, but we're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna scoop this corn into one of my large molcajetes. So we're gonna do our corn in the cup while our corn on the cobs finish up. So come on over here. Got Hannah behind the camera today. So uh, we are having a good time. Here we go. So the corn, gonna put these in a mocha hat day down at the state fair. They have these in these styrofoam, you know, portion cups. They're actually pretty darn generous uh, in their sizing. They had butter on all their corn. I don't remember the order of which they put the butter on. These ones were pretty much one third cotija cheese. And I actually read about this, so it's good. A lot of times um, people substitute Parmesan if they're out of cotija. Am I substituting Parmesan today because I couldn't find cotija? Flaming hot Cheeto powder. Mm-hmm. And the Takis Blue Heat, which actually looks remarkably green when you're all said and done here. So I was calling this the Mexican flag corn in a cup. We can call it that. And last but not least, mayo on the top, something like that. Then we're gonna go with our whole ears of corn, probably 25 minutes, 27, 28 minutes on the griddle top. This will be interesting. I think my skewers are a little skinny for such dense pieces of corn. We're gonna see what happens. I have a little bit thicker one here. We're gonna try it uh, with the traditional bamboo skewer. Actually, that appears to be working just fine. You have to use force. I definitely recommend using a glove. When I made these up at um, the Corn Palace, uh, I noticed that you weren't gonna bare hand these things <laughs> hot off the griddle. So we're gonna go ahead, there we go. And cooking the corn softens it up. So I think we're good to go there. I'll try my best to get the order the same as the state fair, but if I mess up one or two things, just forgive me. So first they went and they uh, squirted a little bit of mayo on the corn. They went like this, perfect. See, last time I did this, I just rolled it and it was too much mayo. So that's a great pro tip, I guess. And straight down into that flaming hot Cheeto powder. And then lastly, they would drizzle that hot butter on top something like this put a little bit extra mayo on the outside like that so that's the other version the last version that we had here was just plain it was uh, more traditional with butter and with mayo this one did not have the Cheeto on top. They went ahead and they just sprinkled cotija on the top part of this that's showing. And they did the same thing, I think, with this here. I may or may not have got the order correct on that one. I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little extra mayo on this one since I think the mayo might have supposed to been on last after the cotija. Take a look at that. I know exactly what it's gonna taste like. We ate a ton of this at the fair the other night. And also, I don't wanna ruin it for the rest of the family that didn't get to go to the state fair. I'm gonna take these inside. I'm gonna eat the plain one. We're gonna take the fancy ones inside for the family. Let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. 
Sometimes I try to hide from the corn, <laughs> right? I don't have a fear of corn, but I've made a couple thousand pounds of our bacon fried corn out on the tour, which is kind of like Blackstone's version of, you know, fancy Mexican corn in a cup. And um, wow, this stuff is next level. Um, this is out of this world. I mean, you saw me eating this stuff at the state fair. Again, I'm taking this into the house so I can impress the family. But my goodness, I really do appreciate you. What a blast it is to go out to a place like the Colorado State Fair or your local restaurant or carnival or whatever, and then come back and replicate it on the back porch with the Blackstone Griddle. So mm, check us out at blackstoneproducts.com. Make sure you're watching all of our shows. Until next time, this is Todd. I'm saying praise the Lord and pass this. The Mexican street corn, the elote, or the corn in the cup decorated like the Mexican flag. But until next time, this is Todd. This corn is amazing. Praise the Lord and pass the corn. <laughs>